CVS and per usual my CRTs like towards the end they stopped printing because they ran out of ink. They just started like shorting out. I hate it when it does that but uh that's what we're doing so I'm at CVS. See what I get into. All right so this is everything. Super super nervous. This is a lot of stuff. Plus they are quite busy so I always try to lay um to wait and let people go up check out and then I go do my stuff because I don't want to make people wait on three transactions. It's just not fair so I'm super nervous this isn't gonna work. The crest is the one I'm most nervous about because it's digital coupons and it's never seemed to work how I want. So, but I'll of course have all of it in a haul. And they didn't have the Cottonelle toilet paper and they didn't have the blue diamond almonds I wanted. So I might go down to the South store and I'm not deciding. So I really do want that toilet paper for free, but I don't know if it's worth driving all the way down there or not. So we'll see. All right, this is Sunday at CVS. As always, so many CRTs. So many transactions, deals. It was actually a really, really good time at CVS. I paid, they were out of stuff. Um, I wanted the Cottonelle. They were all out of the Cottonelle. I wanted the Blue Diamond because I wanted to make some rebates back, but I just wasn't able to do that. They didn't have it. I could go to South Zanesville and check their CVS, but at this point, I, I think I'm happy. I really don't feel like going anywhere else. Um, I think I'm gonna run to Rite Aid since I'm right here, but. She's so nice. Um, she's different than the cashier usually on Sunday. I don't know why she was here today, but she's like, you're the one with that YouTube channel. She's like, people tell me about you all the time. You're the only one who I know who comes in here and does this, which um, I know there's other locals who do it, but I don't know. She must've been super impressed with me today, but I got Crest too. I just loaded up in there and I think I paid five bucks, but I got two power toothbrushes, which we pay whatever for, honestly. Um, we just have to have them. I got razors and Kleenex and Crest. And I'm bummed though, because I really, really did want the, the toilet paper. Like, I really wanted that. Um, I wanted to convert ECBs into rebates just to kind of help offset me spending $5. But you know what? I, I can live with what I just did. So I am going to run out of Rite Aid. I don't know if I'll get anything, but I'm just going to run down there. I don't know. I'll be kind of not too far from the other CVS. I just don't know. What's the guarantee they're going to have it either, right? <sighs> decisions, decisions. But I might run down to the South CVS and just see what they got going on. Maybe. I, I, you know what? I might. We'll see. All right. I'm at Rite Aid. I don't even really know why. <laughs> just like hoping I find deals. I'm not. I'm debating on spending out bonus cash again. The Cottonelle is buy one, get one. And um, there's a two off two load coupon and there is fetch rewards. So basically after my fetch rebates and everything, it'd be a dollar fifty for two packs. But kinda of, I don't know, I don't know if I want to spend out my bonus cash today. I'm just not feeling it. Some of these scuncy kids were really cheap, but they're definitely not here, so I guess I won't be doing that. That's kind of why I came in. <sighs> yeah, this is a lot down. I really know Rite Aid is anymore. It's just not like it used to be. Newspaper time. All right, so I just purged my bin of receipts. This is how much is still relevant, and it's still pretty full, but here's how much I had shoved in there crazy absolutely crazy so i'm finally going through and purging all these throwing them out don't need them anymore these are from last month and a couple even from october but uh yeah crazy now i'm gonna address this bit of coupons i'm gonna cut the new coupons from this week with being during school and everything i just didn't have time to mess with the coupons but now that i'm break it's all about these coupons and i'm getting them taken care of and organized like i want i changed my methods i'll show that to you guys so I figured it was time to go and pull out from the car, right? And I did. Finally did. So I got lots of coupons here that I got to see if they're even like still good. I don't think most of these now. October 31st. These are just laying in the back of the car. Super, super, super embarrassing. I got to purge these. black. We still got Black Friday ads in here. 
I just am so bad about cleaning the car. It's embarrassing. Um, so I just want to like get rid of some of this stuff um, and get it in my binder where it belongs, right? Or binders. I'm still on the fence. Ever since the start of this channel's existence, you've seen my ever-going struggle with organizing coupons. How do I organize coupons? What should I organize them with? It's like never-ending struggle. And I've pretty much decided that the binder method is the method that I'm just going to stick with it. I think the binder's for me. I really love the binder, but it's hard. I never find the binder I want. Like, ever. I never, ever, ever can find a good binder that I actually am happy with. And so I thought, wow, this will work, but it's still doing it. These binders are still busting. The sleeves are popping out. And I don't even know why. Every binder I'm in, it pops out. The baseball cards pop out. I, I don't know if it's there's too many coupons or what, but uh, it's too hard. So I'm going to try to figure something out tonight. I, I ain't going back to the box, so I, I can't. The binders for me, I've decided the binder is my method. I'm sticking with it. It's a matter of figuring out how the best way is to, to organize these. So that's what I'm going to try to figure out. I don't even know. I don't know what to do. Um, I did decide to go ahead and go back to Team Binder, the big binder. I had this one in my stash. So I was going to go for it. I'm switching to this. I, I've been in so many binders before, but I don't know. I'm just going to switch back to this. Um. All right, so it is Monday now. I figured I'd just go ahead and combine the vlogs because yesterday I didn't have a ton of footage. So, but I, mean, I wanted to keep updating you guys on the organization. I did just switch back to the Velcro binder. Um, there aren't any tabs, and I kind of don't like that too much. But at least it doesn't make it pop open, so um, it doesn't. It actually isn't even full yet, which is great. Um all the coupons in here. I didn't really realize how much space those dividers took because I had so many of them. So maybe what I'll do, I need to clip this week's coupons. Um, and then I'll put this week's coupons in here. And then I will put some of those PLEs and tear pads and stuff that I'm super behind on. And all my coupons will be back in order. And I might make some of I don't know. I'll see if I have any to, like a couple dividers. Like maybe I'll just do one. One for food. One for like section dividers maybe that would work i don't know but yeah baking products coffee and tea nutritional drinks juice water and then we got the breakfast bar cereal peanut butter and jelly i know last night i said i was thinking about doing the alphabetical stuff but i don't know it's just seems to work boxed canned candy crackers and cookies Nuts, fruit cups, condiments, butter and eggs, cheese and milk, yogurt, frozen desserts, frozen foods, more frozen foods, and then meat, produce, fridge stuff, pets, more pets. Uh, and I did sub do, um, categorize the cleaner. So there's air freshener, dish detergent, cleaners, laundry products, paper products, and just random miscellaneous items. Okay, then we also got cold medicines. Tons and tons and tons of cold medicines, but now these aren't expired. Some of these are expired. You just throw them out. Eye products, foot items, pain relief, um, stomach care things, which needs to be condensed to one page. I'm trying to condense this as much as possible. You see, it's spread over three pages. It needs to be condensed. I'm still working on that. These are vitamins. Then baby. Body wash and soap. And this is facial cleansers and moisturizers. Cosmetics. Lotion. Feminine care products. Hair care. Shaving. And oral care. 
As you can tell, I keep every single coupon. I don't throw anything away. That's why I need such a big binder. But now that I took out those tab dividers, it's really working well. So I'm just going to go through um, and get the coupons cut that I got yesterday. Put those Peely's tear pads in. Make sure there's no more expired because I did notice a couple when flipping through. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I think this is good. Um, I always like the category system. Um, just a hard time finding a binder that they all fit in. But I think this is going to work. So now that I took all those dividers out. So we shall see. I am sure the majority of you know how to do this, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. So I got three smart source yesterday. I don't buy like 40 papers or whatever. Three should be plenty. They're $2 each, so I'm not going to buy more than that. And this came for free um, in the mail, and then these two I just bought. So what I'm going to do is I lay them out, like lay the books out, and then I have all three of these pages. So I'm just going to start a pile, take each page, and stack it. Then I'm going to go down the next page and start it up. Okay, this is one you have to rip, so we're just going to set that to the side till the end. I don't like to deal with those till the end. Um, so we're just going to start pulling pages and lining, stacking them together in a pile. One, one pile. That's it. I'm not going to... I know some people staple them and do a bunch of different things, but for me, I just line them all up in one big pile, and I know there's three of each page in here that I have to cut. So I just take, separate the inserts, run them all together. This wasn't a very big insert. And that's what I do. So I'll show you about cutting. So I'll just basically cut these out, cut them out, and I will start a couple different piles. I'll start a food, a household, a pharmacy, and a um, personal care piles. Four piles, then I'll go down the line, find the appropriate category and put the coupons in that category that's that's it that's what i do i like to keep it as simple as possible um but for me just doing the binder it just is the best having all my coupons in one confined space i just love that that's what i'm okay so i just gotta separate the rest of these that's what i like so yeah that's how i sort my coupons out and it literally took like two minutes so that doesn't take that long all right, so here's how I do it. I got a category, a pile of pharmacy, a pile of household, a pile of food, and a pile of, a small little pile of personal care. So I'm going to grab the food first and go to the food section. So I'm just going to go through, file these coupons in here, and that's kind of the gist of it. Um, these are just the newspaper ones from that one smart source. Um, and then I'll put them in the appropriate categories. And if I have time... Um, actually, my cousin and I are going to have lunch, um, but if I have time, I will get the other loose coupons, the Peelys, tear pads, all that, and try to file them in here at Sue, but we'll see. And I got to also put my CRTs and Kroger coupons at the front. So I'm actually that's a really good idea of having a page for coupons you like want to use in that week or whatever, to have that at the front, which actually is a really, really awesome idea. So I think I'm actually going to try to implement that as well. So awesome. Really, really like that. So my cousin and I did end up going out to Applebee's, which was so, so good. I actually haven't had Applebee's in like years. Um, and it was amazing. It was actually really good. This is like a chicken skillet. It's chicken, grilled chicken with some various sauce, like cheese on it and some bacon bits. Um, it looks, I think with scallions or chives. And then there was mashed potatoes and broccoli. And I don't think that was too bad. Out of all the choices, the apple base, I think I did pretty good. And I did have some of my cousin's um, chips and um, spin or spinach artichoke dip that she wasn't going to finish. But, um, yeah, really awesome. Um, and it was on sale, too. So, yeah, I'm not know eating out might be frowned upon with some couponers. But I don't do it that many times a week or anything. And, um, you know, I save so much with couponing. Like, it, it's in the budget to do it every once in a while. So, really good. All right, so my phone died, so it wasn't able to actually film me on the camera, so I just thought I'd go ahead and film, just do a voiceover over me looking through the binder. I know it's annoying, but it's kind of how it's going to be for this video because um, I don't know what else to show you guys while I'm talking. So, um, yes. So, this vlog I know is a lot about couponing frustration and drama, and I do want to preface, I'm not quitting couponing or really changing anything. But I'm just a tad frustrated right now, and I'm not totally sure about my own personal couponing, what I'm going to do and everything. But 
nothing's going to change for my videos. So anyways, I'm a little frustrated because between Kroger Cash Back and I bought it, I was cheated out of ten fifty in various rebates. I did not get back last week. Didn't get them back, which is so frustrating because especially Kroger Cash Back, I've had no issues with them for six months. Like everything has worked perfect. There were four different rebates that I did not get total credit for. So the, the main issue here, the $6 loss, is the Rubbermaid. So I bought it only, I bought it and Crooker Cash Back only credited me for four of them. And I bought five. So why would they only give me credit for four? So anyways, I'm going to have to call Crooker Cash. I put a ticket in with Ibotta. They've never answered. It's been like four days. They've never answered. And then Crooker Cash Back, um, I'm going to have to call them. But I have to wait the seven-day waiting period for that. And also, I did not get cash back for three other rebates. The Red Gold Chili Tomatoes, the, um, what's the other one? The Smucker's Jelly, and then the um, Imagine Soup. I did that on two cards and just never got credit for it. So, I, I want to get the money back. It's ten fifty. so I really would like to go and, and just get a hold of Kroger and figure this out because I want my money back. So, I'm going to try to call... And figure that out. But it's just frustrating. I never got my mail-in rebates for the um, Renews It or for the Dapple Wipes. Never got them. Just never showed up. I guess they still could, but I don't even know. Um, by the end of the year, I'm going to go through when I add up everything. And if I don't get the rebates back, I'm just going to consider it a sunk cost at this point by the end of the year. Because I don't think if they took them this long to do it, they're going to still send them. But Because those were really a while ago. So it's just frustrating that that's how it went. But on a positive note, I did get my rebate from the SC Johnson um, Happy Thanks Gathering. So hopefully you guys will eventually, hopefully get yours soon for those um, cleaners. I did get it. They they did apologize um, when I talked to them for taking so long. But I did finally get that rebate. So I'm really, really happy about that. But I don't know. It's just annoying sometimes. I miss the old way of couponing in a way. I know the rebates have gotten us a lot more stuff. But it was so nice. Back in the day, I've been doing this for five years, and really the rebate thing has only been two or three years. When I first started, you went in there, you used your coupons, and you walked out with that deal, and it just was nice. And the drugstores, yeah, the drugstore thing was still going like it always has, but I just loved the old way. Now you had to put up so much money out of pocket, and then you got to hope all your rebates come back, and they didn't for me. Ten fifty, I was cheated out of. So I'm just like frustrated because I don't want to do that. So that's what's going on. And I'm a little annoyed by it all, but that's what happened. So I'm frustrated, but not enough to make me quit or anything. But I'm just frustrated and I sometimes miss the old days. But with CVS, it's annoying because all that tax. And I don't know, back in the old days, I don't really remember spending this much on tax. I, I must have. I just must not have cared. Um, but yeah i'm slightly annoyed right now but that's that's how it goes um so i don't know i'm kind of in a couponing slump all of a sudden i'm not i finished off that big bonus but to be cheated out of 1050 really makes me upset because i would not have bought all that anyways i was doing it to make money with the bonus which was successful as long as i get the rebates back but if they're not going to give me the rebates back like they're advertised, then that's a problem. So hopefully, I, when I call Kroger, I get the money back. I put that ticket in with I bought. I'm pretty 99% sure they'll give me the money back um, and everything. So hopefully that's all fixed and taken care of and everything goes back to normal. So, uh, yeah, that's frustrating. My little rant for the day. So I'm sorry Vlogmas has been kind of hit or miss. Um... There's only so much I feel like I can talk about, but I'm really going to try to work on doing them more often every day, at least up until Christmas. I feel like I might vlog a little bit after that because I usually do, I'm planning on going after Christmas clearance hunting um, between Walmart and stuff. So I probably think that'd be a fun little vlog. So I'll probably do it. I might do it through New Year's or something. I know it's not technically how it's supposed to be, but I might. We'll see what happens. But I'm really going to try to work on getting these up every day at least up till Christmas because it's it's the home stretch Christmas is almost here um we really don't have that much long to go so yeah um I have some various Christmas outings this week and things that are going on so there'll be a lot some things to vlog about so yeah it's all for this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching